I didn't want to make this video, but if you watched my last video on The Last Epoch launch, you know that I was talking about how I thought it was going to be a little bit on the rough side because in that video I was very critical of how the servers have behaved for this game for about the past year. And I couldn't fathom in my head how in any universe they could possibly survive the amount of hype train that was steaming down the tracks toward them. But at a certain point it comes to be that the soothing light at the end of your tunnel is just a bunch of angry Reddit users coming your way. Like and subscribe if you get that reference. Because it's really, really not looking well for Last Epoch on launch. And I could kind of feel it simmering beneath the surface, but I didn't want to lay into them before well, I actually had any evidence for what I was thinking. And uh, so I'll go into it now. I, I want to start off, though, by saying to kind of avoid people criticizing me, I fully appreciate the game has offline mode. I'm very appreciative of that in an ARPG, but that shouldn't be something that's praiseworthy. That should just be something that all ARPGs have. And it's absolutely annoying that uh, people like Blizzard have uh, removed that from their recent titles. So I absolutely totally respect them for, for having an offline mode in the game, and that's great. And it's why people are able to play the game at all now, because they certainly wouldn't be able to play it any other way. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. Great offline mode, cool. This is about the online mode, because that's what I wanna play. I like to trade with people. I like to engage with and play with my friends. That's how I enjoy ARPGs. So just with that preface, let's get into the video. So with the full release of Last Epoch, one of the things they announced was due to the high player volume, they were going to announce a server queue that would, you know, anyone who's ever been through an MMORPG launch or Diablo 4 launch or any uh, game that has large online servers and is very popular and is going to be hit hard by the Twitch streamer a lot, has a server queue. Well, Last Epoch has been so overwhelmed that the server queue hasn't become a queue at all. It's just become you can't even get into the game to queue. You have to play offline. And I suspect that the way they've organized this was intentional. The offline mode works really, really well right now and is completely fine. And everything is completely peachy. And the online mode is just non-existent. I couldn't even find anyone that's able to play online right now. It's been so overwhelmed. And the player numbers at the moment are all over the place because, frankly, people don't want to start leveling a character in offline mode only to need to make a new character for online mode, given the fact that a lot of people play ARPGs to trade and to play with their friends. That's part of the hype of these style of games. Now, it's not unheard of to not be able to play an online server-based game on launch. That happens all the time. But there have been a few things in this story that have sort of made things a little bit more problematic than even I had suspected from my previous video where I was sort of hinting at these problems. So I want to go into those now. And because I don't want to drag out this video and clickbait you any further, I'm just going to go immediately now into the thing that I think is going to be like the most problematic for these uh, for the, um, the developers going forward. And that's just been their general kind of like nonchalant response to this. So they've been bragging recently about the amount of units they've sold of the game. And, you know, I said that in the previous video. Everyone knows that. Last Epoch has been really, really hyped. All of us in the ARPG community are really looking forward to it. I don't know a single person in the ARPG community that isn't super excited for it. And the few people that I didn't know that weren't excited for it, I made them excited for it because that's just how this community works and it's great. But seeing the developer be that hyped over the amount of units sold and then seemingly not take any steps to prepare that they are now going to be in for a major, major game launch. So, for example, I'll put it up on screen now and I'll read it from one of the developers kissing air, ire, ire, it's like ire, yeah, from Protoss. We expected to see some server problems today. We didn't expect such a massive influx of players in such a short time. It's just so overwhelming to see everyone come out to support us. I'm floored, honestly, hoping the servers recover soon. None of us expected this much players trying to come play at once. So this is just a, obviously to obviously disingenuous response. First of all, no one hopes the servers recover soon. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming this is a community manager that's not actually responsible for the running of the servers, but uh, servers don't run on hope. And the only way at this point 
that the uh, servers for the game will recover given just how absolutely overmatched they are by the amount of players would be if people stopped liking the game so much, which is exactly what is going to happen if it continues. Um, but, you know, they've already been paid, so maybe they don't care. I don't know. I can't judge that. We'll have to see how they move, how they do things coming forward. Now, obviously, I understand that it can be difficult to uh, swap over internet architecture in a short span of time. These are not the sort of things that you can just see sales numbers and suddenly build out new server architecture within like four weeks, and then suddenly everything is fine. I don't really judge them for that. But to get to the point where the entire online service for your game is just completely unavailable without, as far as I can see, any hope within the near future of it working properly, it's not a good look and it's definitely going to hurt the game overall. And this is compounded by the fact that I don't think they're going to fix it anytime soon because it wasn't fixed before launch because... As you saw from my video yesterday, I was already complaining about lag before the launch. So it's not like it's going to get better after the launch where the player numbers don't just double. They don't just triple. There are magnitudes upon magnitudes higher than they were before. So they're in a really, really difficult space. And unless I've completely miscalculated things and they've got like a lot of like complicated uh, like cloud infrastructure and complicated computer science stuff that I don't understand behind the scenes that they can now put into play. This game is going to be really, really bad for online connectivity for weeks or months going forward unless people just decide to stop playing the game and go back to playing Path of Exile and Diablo 4. And that is where I think this story might very well end now because with a game like pa uh, like <laughs> with a game like uh, Last Epoch, I think there was a, a real audience for it and a lot of people looking forward to playing it. And a few missteps like this early on, people are going to go back to their old games. So, you know, I'll do another video updating people on this as things go on. If you're playing a game yourself, you don't need an update video because you already know what's happening because, well, you can't play the game. I'm really hoping they can get this fixed in the near future and sort of preserve the momentum that the game has going because, you know, if I had to hitch my horse behind Path of Exile or Diablo 4 or Last Epoch, I've been very clear. This is my, my boy. This is my horse in the race. But I really can't see the near-term future for the game looking all that bright given the server issues and given that I've been having issues on the server for the past two months now. And then the number of players just doubled from, I just, I checked when I, I took a break in this video, it went up from 2,000 players, which is when I was having issues with lag on the servers. And now it's at 120,000 down to 80,000. By tomorrow, I would expect it'll be down to 40,000 because people don't want to play offline. And um, that level of momentous jump without being able to even, frankly, support 2,000 players very well, I don't know. I get, I don't, I'm not, all that hopeful, but hopefully I'm wrong and they can fix it and everything will be great. But I just thought I'd get a quick video now updating this. So if you can't play the game, it's not on you. Um, this is just an absolute, even by the standards of, you know, uh, online game launches, this is turning out to be a really, really rough one. And uh, we'll see in the future whether the game recovers. I sincerely hope it can. If it can't, well, I don't know. I guess I'll play another ARPG then, won't I? I mean, Grim Dawn's still a thing actually need to do a YouTube video on Grim Dawn. Anyways, if you like this video, you know, like and subscribe. I don't know. I'm just a bit frustrated. I'm sorry. I really wanted to play the game, and I was hoping at least there'd be a queue so that I could queue up and I could play online. I didn't expect the entire thing to implode, though deep in my gut, having played the game a lot throughout the beta, I kind of knew this was going to happen. I'm sorry, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.